Hey everybody, this is Jeppy Condyle for Brainal.net, and uh, I just want to give you guys another tip. Uh, today, for PlayStation 4, the firmware version 3.5, I think, just came out. And one of the coolest features, among other features I really enjoy, one of the coolest features is the ability to stream uh, your PS4 to either a PC or, or Mac remotely. Kind of like what you could do with your Vita. But unlike your Vita, you have to download an extra little app or um, I guess it's a driver or whatever uh, in order to do that. So just go to open whatever browser you want, go to remoteplay.bl.playstation.net and then pick whatever is appropriate for you. In my case, it would be Mac. I'm assuming for Windows it would be just as easy, if not easier. Okay. It's a pretty small file, I think it's just a few megabytes. Uh, yeah, so it already downloaded. So go ahead and start it up and start the installation process. I'm going to cut out a little bit here because uh, I'm going to have to put in some personal info. Okay, it's a pretty quick process to install. Um, and then go to the launch pad for Mac, whatever it is for, I guess, start menu for Windows? I don't know. Look for that particular icon for PS4 Remote Play. And you will need a DualShock 4 connected to your computer via USB. Uh, Bluetooth won't work. Uh, but one thing that I wasn't the biggest fan of uh, with the PlayStation Vita was using the, the thumbsticks there uh, on the Vita to control PS4 games. And they're not really tall and they don't allow for a lot of precision. Um, so this is really, 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 really great that I could be somewhere far away, I could be visiting, you know, my family or whatever, I could have a bigger screen other than the Vita, I don't have to bring my PS4 and have my DualShock on me and have the actual controls, you know, I'm used to having, which is really cool. Um, so I tried this earlier on uh, one of my other computers and I just installed it on this computer uh, just so you can see the installation process. But right now I have Battlefront already on my uh, PS4. Um, and I experience, again, this does depend on your internet connection. I experience very little lag. Uh, but the thing is, as of now, Sony will only allow a resolution of up to 720p. But it's very noticeable on most modern computers with like really good screens. But um, overall, the, the, the experience is pretty, pretty awesome. And they're not asking for it. You know any money for it? That's pretty cool. So I just wanted to show you guys the installation process. Nothing too crazy. Again, I'm going to keep the link to the uh, the driver or the app in the description below. And uh, if you want to hear more discussion about the new firmware update, uh, check out our podcast, the Brennan Podcast. We're going to be recording tonight. Uh, should be up by Friday, and we'll give our impressions. Uh, but either way, everyone, take care, and see you next time. Peace.